Vivian. Hey guys, in this video, I'm taking Gallagher to uh, my favorite place to practice um, public conditioning. In this case, is Walmart. Walmart has a lot of people, a lot of strangers, and to the general public, this makes things more tense because they're not used to seeing a dog. And owners, dog owners generally wouldn't take their dog to a public place like this because it's, it's a little bit too stressful for them. And we have to be aware that dogs can sense our stress. So if we're stressed, they're gonna feel stressed. Come on. Uh-oh, this way. Good. Let's go over here. Ready? Sit. Good. There you go. There's a lot of people here. A lot. Come on. Kind of bricks here. What are these? Hmm? all this junk here. I like those platforms. Can you come up here? Up. Come on. Can you come up here? Come on. Come on. <laughs> no? Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good Gallagher. Good Kerr. Good boy. Gallagher. Good. Okay, come on. So even though he's under a year old, and in my, in my opinion, he's still a puppy, got to start, it's time to grow up. Trying to act like a big dog. He doesn't know his potential. Because we all know these border collies are really smart. But with smart comes an overwhelming sense of sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Good. I like how he's not trying to hide behind me or go underneath the bench. He's just wandering around. Gallagher. Pretty dog. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Good. So we're just sitting outside, just chilling and um, just watching people walk by. Some people would interact and say hi, and I'm grateful for that. And if he responds correctly, then I'm going to give him a treat. But you will notice that Gallagher is very alert, and there's nothing I can fix about that. That's his temperament. But I want alert and confident, where he will not be reactive. And he does react a few times. I mean, the thing about uh, scenarios like this is, for Gallagher, the public is actually to a point where it's, the stimuli is so high, it's overwhelming for him that he has nothing else to do but to sit there and to entrust um, his safety towards me. Ah. Hi, 
Hai. Hai. So in a normal case, I mean, if there weren't so many people and there were just one person, then you would get fixated. But because there's so much going on, he doesn't have the ability to think straight. And sometimes, in a lot of ways, that's what these medications do for humans. When you go to a psychiatrist, they give you this medication that that dulls your senses. And when you're overstigmatized, it has the same effect. It dulls your senses because that's what your body would do. You ever notice, like, whenever you become really um, nervous, um, some people would yawn a lot. It's your body's mechanism and in trying to cope with the amount of stress that you're going through. So yawning, even though it's the opposite of, of hyperactivity. Good girl, good boy. What's he calling you girl? He's got pretty eyes. So this is what we're dealing with here, and Gallagher is doing really good. Um, I'm, if he does something right, or if I see him go to the next level of calm, I'm gonna give him a treat. It's gonna increase some dopamine in him, which means that it will increase some excitement. So his excitement levels are going up and down, up and down. But excitement is fine. Excitement is better than aggression. So I'm bringing his level up and then he gets calm. Every time he gets calm, I give him another treat and to spike his dopamine. A little bit of excitement is fine, just no aggression. All right, guys, I hope this video helps in some ways for some of you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Put it in the comments below. And if you could do me a solid favor, please like and subscribe and click that notification tab because every bit of views actually helps me monetize me to do my passion and my vision of saving as many shelter dogs and teaching them and creating my facility that's coming really soon, guys. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.